Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UWO Clash of Smash episode 61. This one be a very controversial evening. I can tell, I can really tell about this. Fry went home, I'm not sure. Uh, it just sucks. But later on tonight, Rita X will be in action. I wonder what Wonder Woman thinks about this. Will she confront Rita here tonight? Here comes Captain Falcon. I don't even want I don't even want to say this guy's name. What Captain Falcon, Link, Donkey Kong, and Dr. Wiley did to Fry was rep unprecedented. They cost Fry his championship matchup at Knights of Glory 2. And now this man, this this so-called man right here, will be taking Fry's place to meet event Knight of Glory. I can't believe this. Nobody wants to see this damn match. But this is like I said Super Smash Brothers, they have their they have their ways. They have their ways of what wrestling, what CAW should be. Oh boy, now he's grabbing the mic. Someone cut his mic please. Wait a second, the Fry's music. Fry's back. My goodness. And Captain Falcon cannot believe it. He thought Fry went home. Come on, Fry, Fry is here. Wait a second. You have got to be kidding me. That's freaking Link. I can't believe what I'm seeing. They're making fun of Fry. He's copying his entrance with his with his music. Super Smash Brothers just hit another low. I can't even call this. The fans don't like this as well. You have got to be kidding me. And the ref's gonna make a count. I guess he's forced to. This is not even a match. Alright, right, this, this is just. This just sucks. I gotta say, this is gonna be hell to pay for the Super Smash Brothers. I can tell you that much.
He's back. All you had to do was ask Super Mario Brothers 3 from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. We're back here on the Fashion Smash. This is a number one contenders match for the UWO Code Championship. And the winner and that match will definitely take place at UWO Knights of Glory 2. As you see the participants in the matchup, the Karate Kid, oh, as you see him kicking Crash Bandicoot in the face. We have Bugs Bunny in here. We haven't seen this bunny in a while. And this newcomer, Bart Simpson. Very worthy contenders, to say the least, for Luigi. But wait a minute. Dump Bugs Bunny, he is out. He was trying to close line Bart outside the ring, but Bart ducked it. Usually Bugs is a little bit more cunning than that, but he's out. He's not happy about it. He's going back to Albuquerque. Wait a minute. The Karate Kid for Suplex to Bart Simpson. The Karate Kid is going toe to toe But Crash Bandicoot, but Bandicoot for a punch in the face. And these three men are here left standing in the ring for the opportunity for the co championship against Luigi at Night of Glory 2. And, Mar and of course, Bart Simpson. And you see, and, and speaking of Luigi, here he is watching the matchup. He's very interested in who the winner is going to be. Oh, there's a punch to the head there by Bart Simpson. The Karate Kid answers back. A nice move there from Bart. Bart is no slouch. He is a veteran at CAW. Despite him being young, he has a lot going for him. He may be a main inventor one of these days. Wait a minute, Crash Bandicoot is about, about to eliminate Bart Simpson. He may lose his opportunity, but Bart slips out. But the Karate Kid is there to meet him with a German suplex. Oh, punch in the head, there by Crash. And catches the Karate Kid for a cross body block. It's a punch to the head, there by Crash. And Crash with the wrestling leg sweep. Flips over, the momentum got him. And Bart Simpson, that's not a bad, that's a bad area to be in, in this type of matchup. You see Bandicoot catching the leg of the Cry Kid. The Cry Kid slips free of that arm drag and catches Crush Bandicoot for a drop to hold. Nice uppercut there from the kid. And wait a minute, Daniel has Bandicoot hoisted over, almost over the top rope, but no. He was almost out, almost out. But he manages to escape. Impressive by the Bandicoot. A crash! Oh. Not sure the call that looked like a net breaker. There's a sliced bread there from Crash. And Crash with the snap mayor. Crash is the left standing. I'm pretty sure he has a good shot against Luigi. If he if he's if he's able to win this matchup. Punch the head there by Crash. And Crash looks like he's about to eliminate Bart Simpson. But wait a minute, Bart Simpson pulls down the rope and Crash gets eliminated. But wait a minute, the Karate Kid is going to take advantage. He's going to take advantage of the situation. And Bart is out, tosses Bart on top of Crash. And the Karate Kid is the number one contender for the UWO Co-Championship. And he will be facing Luigi at tonight of Glory 2. Impressive there by the Karate Kid. I guess Mr. Miyagi is teaching him new things, new things to win matches, and it's paying off. But will he win the big one? Will he win the UWO Code Championship at Night of Glory 2? Let's take a look at the replay of how this match ended. Crash was trying to clothesline Bart Simpson out the ring, and the crack had took advantage of the situation and took out Bart Simpson. Here he is, here's Mr. Miyagi, the mentor of the Karate Kid. So he's coming to congratulate Daniel LaRusso for his victory. So you see, Luigi's not happy about this. 
Oh, wait a second. Oh, this damn Luigi. He just cracked. Mr. Miyagi with the damn belt. What a champion this man is. It is Daniel coming to his mentor's aid. Oh, Luigi, that son of a... Oh, God. Mr. Miyagi, someone have to check up on him. You'll need some EMTs, some paramedics. I uh, hope he's all right. Oh, damn you, Luigi. Why would you do this? In a city where chaos rules, only one man can save humanity from total destruction. Hmm. It's up to Homer Simpson and family to save the world from a diabolical plot as they run and drive to unravel the conspiracy. Black Finch! Critics call it the best Simpsons game ever. Get the lot, dude. The Simpsons Hit and Run, rated T for Teen. I am evil Homer.
Well, I guess Luke Skywalker wasn't as smart as he thought he was. You know, James Bond finally catches up with Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is the man who caused James Bond the championship matchup against Link at Soul Survivor. That's how he's getting his revenge. But I think all that James Bond wants is a match. I guess this is his way to persuade Luke oh. Skywalker on Toss him into the damn vending machine that never works and takes your money. James Bond has the trash can, but it's not good. Yeah. Smashes, with Luke. Oh, smashes with, with the damn the damn trash can, my goodness. Mr. Skywalker may want to get out of here. But James Bond is not playing here tonight. Like I said, Luke Skywalker, he should accept James Bond's challenge. But now he's running away. I can't believe this. Luke Skywalker, that coward. This week to be Catwoman going against Samus, Catwoman the first ever UWO champion, leading the woman against the Sisters of Smash. Looks like the Sisters of Smash have a new member in the Wii Fit Trainer, so that gives them the advantage. I know Catwoman has been trying to recruit Xena, but Xena has been acting like a lone woman. Xena wants to go her own way. I'm not sure that's best for UWO in the women's division. I guess she has her ways. But let's see Catwoman get a victory against Samus. Hunter of the Sisters of Smash. This one is the powerhouse of the Sisters of Smash. She takes care of business, and tonight she's going to take care of Catwoman if she can, if she can try to. It's going to be a tough challenge for this bounty hunter. The Sisters of Smash, like I said, gave the new member in the Wii Fit Trader, so their power has grew to, grew to the next level. They're more dangerous than ever. It was it dangerous as they were before. Catwoman has to be careful with Samus. Samus is a very powerful woman. She is tall and very athletic in that square circle. Sometimes I wish she wasn't a part of the Sisters of Smash, but unfortunately she is. This match is underway. Catwoman versus Samus. And ironically, both women were former UWO Women's Champions. So this should be a very good matchup, to say the least. Always say Samus has the advantage. And the start of this match, the shoulder dressed to Catwoman. But wait a second, Catwoman found a counter and escaped. Now has control. Of Samus at the moment. But Samus again for another counter turns it into a headlock. Very impressive 
by the bounty hunter. Oh, club and blow to the back of the neck of Catwoman. Catwoman bounces, summons off the rope. Nice Frankensteiner. And that had to hurt Samus' back. Samus back up to her feet. And Catwoman very confident here tonight as she poses for the fans. I guess I'll be back to square one as they tie up once again. And Catwoman this time with the advantage has an arm ringer. Brings it down to her knee. And can Samus find an escape? She does. She gets up and turns into an arm bar. Impressive. I can't believe I'm saying impressive, but I'm being unbiased at the moment. That's my job. Look at this. Samus working over the left arm of Catwoman. But Catwoman again finds an escape. And once again, taunting Samus. Trying to frustrate this bounty hunter. Oh. It looks like it worked. A nice sweep of the leg there by Catwoman. Oh, what the? Oh, he just slapped it right in the face. I'm not sure that's the smartest idea. But Samus is pissed. Tries to kick again. I think this is his. I think this is Catwoman's strategy to frustrate Samus, to draw her off her game, and it's working. Samus has to think of a better strategy to take down Catwoman. Got to cover. And no. Like I said, Samus has to find a better strategy. Because Catwoman is the first ever UWO, champ, UWO Women's Champion. And she was for a reason. Nice DDT there by Catwoman. She goes for the cover. Very smart. Hooks the leg. This might be over. No. Only a two count. Only a two count. Not enough to take down Samus. Tries to go for a, another right hand, but Samus saw that coming. Now kicks in the corner to the mid section of Catwoman. Oh, just pulled off the, the turnbuckle, it turned it into a power bomb. Like I said, Samus is very athletic, but she is also powerful. She can woman handle you all over that square circle. Oh my goodness, what a punch that was to the face. A spinning elbow right into the nose of Catwoman. Samus, what is she thinking? Nice cross body. There, there you go, Samus showing off her athleticism. She goes with a cover, hooks the leg. This might be over, no. Catwoman powers out. It is not over yet. Samus with the submission hole working over the leg of Catwoman. A very smart idea. This Catwoman likes to use her legs. The Catwoman rolls Samus off. And again with the Frankensteiner. Takes Samus down to the mat. Waits for Samus to get back to her feet. And another Frankensteiner. Catwoman springboard something off. Oh, a little bit too much aerial assaults. And Summer saw that coming. Oh, there's another knee to the face. There by the bouncer her the Summer's arm in. Backbreaker, my god. Backbreaker. There by Summer. She goes for the cover. After the backbreaker. No. Another two count. The Summers cannot believe it. She couldn't believe that. Did it take out Catwoman? For the three count. Let's nice leg drop there from Summers. Summers in control of this match thus far. What does Summers have on her mind? Oh. Some nice work of the arm. It catches some catches Catwoman with the arm bar. But smartly, Catwoman knew where the ropes were at. Like I said before, that is why she was the first ever UWO Women's Champion. Catwoman, Catwoman hopes to gain back that championship very soon from Zelda. Summers goes to the top rope, going high risk. 
Body splash catches her. Goes for the cover. Hooks the leg. This might be over. No. Catwoman again gets out of it. Oh my goodness. He just grabbed her by the ears and just tossed her almost halfway across the ring. Some is showing off her power right there. Wait a second. Catwoman saw that punch coming. Oh, she goes for another slap. But Sama saw that coming. So she's going for a power bomb. Oh, God, power bomb. She's not yet done. You gotta be kidding me. That's two. Wait, three freaking power bombs in a row. Three freaking power bombs. Consecutively, this match is over. No. My God. Catwoman kicked out once again. As Samus once again cannot believe it. As she goes high risk. Goes for the elbow drop by Catwoman, using her quickness, moves out the way. Wait a second, she had a rip cord knee. Oh, Samus is out. Wait, wait a minute. Oh my god, not, not this woman, not Princess Peach. Oh, kick to the back of the head. You have got to be kidding me, this match has been drawn out. I know you didn't hear a bell. I guess the timekeeper is sleeping, but this match is over. Oh, another kick to the face. There by Princess Peach. Somebody has to help. Somebody has to help Catwoman. She's gonna get decimated here in the middle of this ring by the sister of Smash. Oh, DDT. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. This Catwoman tries to get out of the dodge, but she doesn't have enough strength to get out of there or to fight back. And the sister of Smash have her at their mercy. But not just move again on. Oh, a suplex. A suplex from Princess Peach. And now Sambas, what does she have in mind? Or, oh, it's here with the sliced bread. She goes to the top rope. Just looking down at her opponent because she thought second of it. What is Sambas doing? What? You have got to be kidding me. 450. Just standing. Just standing up. Just hit a 450. You got to be kidding me. A cat woman. Oh my God. Someone has to help her out. Wait a second. Here comes Christian Martero. Oh, no. Not the refit trainer. There she is again. The damn refit trainer. The new member of the Sisters of Smash. I can't believe this. Our UWR women out are numbered. By these women here. I know the team of Catwoman and Christy are trying to take these women on, but it's just too much. And we have Xena, but I'm not sure about her alliance. Oh, this throws her right to the gate of where the fans are at. Oh, suplex. Oh, this is just not right. Come on, somebody has to help these women out. Oh, my God. Freaking DDT on the damn ramp. And Christy is out. My goodness, oh, this, this is not good. This is not good at all. But wait a second, there's Xena. She just walked out. Come on, Xena, do something. You can't just sit, stand there and watch. This is your peers. But she's just watching a woman get decimated by the scissors of Smash. What is this about? Come on, Xena. Oh, you have got to be kidding. She's leaving. Oh, come on. There's, there's Zelda. She likes what she sees. I can't believe this. TurboGrafx-16 is about to knock video games back into the Stone Age. It's 10,000 years ago. You're a cave dude. You are carnivorous. You've got to bonk 28 stages of prehistoric bad guys to rescue your excellent looking princess. And you've only got one weapon. Bonk's Adventure, only on the TurboGrafx-16 system.
Here comes the spy. I think we need Mario. He's still trying to catch Son the Hedgehog. Maybe he'll catch him, maybe he won't. I'm not sure. But up next, it's gonna be the spy against the debuting Goku. Goku has been having his video packages play out throughout these shows. Hopefully he makes a great debut here tonight against the spy. Spy is no slouch. He's a great wrestler inside that ring. So this should be a good test for Goku here tonight. There he is, Goku in the flesh. We heard many good things about this man right here. We heard that he likes the fight. He loves competition. And this is very good competition for him in UWO. There's a lot of superstars slash wrestlers here who are up for the challenge to face this man and who will give him a good battle. We'll see what he has in store here tonight against the spy. Hopefully good things I'm seeing here from Goku. Maybe he'll be a UWO champion someday. From the good days I've been hearing about this man. But only time will tell. And it starts tonight. His journey starts tonight against the spy. Here we go, this match is underway. Goku versus the Spy. We haven't seen the Spy in a minute. I heard he's been training nonetheless. And the arm ringer there from the Spy to start out this match. Oh, there's a shoulder thrust right into Goku's midsection. Well, Goku finally escaping, he does. Has a elevated arm bar or hemlock, whatever you want to call it. But the spy finds a counter and turns it into a headlock. Oh, carbon ball right to the back of the head of Goku. The spy being very vicious here tonight. He wants a victory very badly. But Goku bounces the spy off the rope and with a nice neck breaker, impressive maneuver there by Goku. That was very impressive how he hit it. It's a very nice technique. Like I said, Goku loves competition. He gets better and better every time he fights. From what I've heard from rumors. And he nails three arm drags in a row. I'm not sure what type of arm drags they were, but it's very unorthodox. He probably made it, made it up himself. The spy was trying to go for an elbow shot, but Goku saw that coming and delivers one of his own. As he's on the middle rope, Tornado DDT. Impressive maneuver by this newcomer Goku. Got a cover. Oh, only a two count. But Goku in control of this matchup. At the moment, the spy with a fireman's carry was able to escape Goku's. Wait a minute, the spy. A punch to the head of oh, Insiguri. Insiguri, there from the spy, has Goku down to the mat. The spy, what does he have on his mind? Will Goku find an escape out of this? Let's go for tired of ropes. Oh, come on, ref. This is, a, this is an illegal chokehold. Ref not seeing it. The spy was able to mask what he was doing. The ref didn't see anything. But what is this? Oh my goodness, is that a suplex with an arm bar? That's a very impressive maneuver. 
I've never seen that before. The spike goes for the cover, hooks the leg. And only a one count. Goku is not giving up that easily. I'm not sure if Goku can even give up. That man just keeps fighting and fighting. Oh, suplex right into the turnbuckle. My god. That has to be it. No. Only a two count. He barely got that shoulder up. Just barely. You see Goku and Miss Martial Arts Tournament. Prior to coming to UWO. Well, we'll see how he is in the wrestling game. We got another cover. And even though wrestling is a part of fighting. It's a former fighter. So I'm pretty sure Goku can excel at that as well. Oh, suplex. Dropping Goku on the back of his neck. As you see him holding it. Goku's feeling the pain. But what is this? I'm not sure to call what this move is, but it's very effective as it looks. Goku is struggling. He may tap out here. But wait a minute, Goku finds the escape. He was able to find the escape. I can't believe it. Goku got out of that submission hole applied by the spy. Goku gets close on over the top rope. And the spy just goes after him. Spy is being very impressive here tonight. I can't believe this. Oh. Just throws Goku right into the barricade. Right into the barricade Goku went. He's not yet done. Oh. And again. I guess the Spy knows what he's dealing with. So he's going to be extra vicious here tonight. Oh my god. Right to the steel steps. This, the Spy here showing no remorse for Goku. He is giving him a well welcome him, welcome him, welcome in to UWO. Throws Goku back inside the ring, but wait a second. Oh. Chest first, right into the edge of the apron. Keep in mind, we don't have a 10 count, we have a 15 count. So this the rest is a little leeway outside the ring so it's not that much you know controversy As you see Goku he's in a bad way he has to find a comeback but Goku is known for his comebacks he is very known for that as you've seen his martial arts tournament matches the boy second Goku it's gonna say he's coming back what's this the Yoshi tonic AKA the cold red. Are we gonna cover here? No. Only a two. And Goku cannot believe it. He thought he had a victory. Now he's signaling the spy to get back up to his feet. It's a very good matchup thus far. For the spy. Find a counter. A snap mirror. Dead by Goku. A drop it to the head. A Goku going high risk. What is he thinking of doing? Drop kick as the spy was tied up into the rope. Go for the cover, Goku. You have him. What's Goku digging up doing? Goku waiting for the spy to get back up to his feet. I'm not sure this is a very smart idea. Goku bounces off the ropes for another arm drag. He goes off against the ropes again, but he gets caught. Oh, German suplex. He gets caught with the German. The spy goes for the cover. This might be over. Oh my god. Only a two count. For, I mean, Goku is not giving up here tonight. The spy signaling for the end. He might hit the backstabber. That's his finishing maneuver. But wait a second. This is Goku's finishing maneuver. The secret technique. You hit him. Got it. The star, the spy. He had the ropes. He had the rope. And Goku again. He's going to hit the secret technique again. Got it. The secret technique. This might be over. It's over. Goku is the winner. He wins his debut matchup. Impressive matchup. 
did by Goku. For that match alone, I can tell this man's gonna be successful. He's gonna bring great matches and he's gonna have a lot of victories if he keeps this up. Let's take a look at how this match ended. Goku hit the secret technique to the spy. Oh, God, what a, a very hard hitting maneuver. It was able to get him a victory. Wait a second, wait a second. Just the Punisher. We see the Punisher on UWO Icons Episode 9. Looking at Goku's promo videos that be airing all over the broadcast. What's gonna happen here? This, this, but wait a minute! What what is this about? I thought the Punisher was gonna try to recruit Goku. You have got to be kidding me. What's, what was that about? Why did the punish do this? Why did he do that? Why did he give the time and punishment to Goku? We got to get some answers. I'm not sure what, what I'm seeing. Why, was, why did he do this? Hopefully we can get some answers. Goku in this debut match. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The Punisher just ruins Goku's celebration in his debut victory. Here on the Clash of Smash, and here's the Zack Ranger. The Zack Ranger appeared on UWO Icons Episode 9 when Time Versetti challenged him to a match at Knights of Glory 2, but he did not accept. He just went out there and just stared Versetti down and then left. So I wonder why he is here tonight. What this what is his purpose? Zack Ranger cost enough. Aggravation here at UWO, but what more can he do? What is, what is his business here tonight? Would it be a retaliation against Rossetti or a response against Rossetti? Hopefully, we can hear it in a few moments. But I really want to see that match. I really want to see this match between the Sacrifice and Time Rossetti. Cause it's a, it's a lot going on in their feud, and it has to end. And hopefully, the Zack Ranger will end his reign of terror.
He accepts. Do you have a ladies and gentlemen? Well, no horse barred matchup. My goodness. The sack Bridger accepted Time Versetti's challenge. But wait, here's Time Versetti with a damn sledgehammer. You heard the Zack Ranger accept his challenge. It looks like we got a match. It's gonna be the Zack Ranger going against the returning Tommy Versetti at Night of Glory 2 in a no holds barred matchup. My goodness, I can't believe this is happening. This is gonna be a brutal matchup. These two will finally end their rivalry, hopefully. U W O Super Show. Witness big matches as a prelude to Night of Glory 2, June 13. event of the evening to be Dennis Scully going against Me the X. These two have been having a rivalry pretty much all their pretty much for all their careers in UWO. It kind of started with Scully told Rita that she was an alien. And Rita did take too kindly against that. You can watch that in earlier episodes. But it just escalated, and UWL Soul Survivor, Dennis Scully being disrespectful to Rita once again, and Rita had to take her out. But I think Rita went too far, and Rita just took out Wonder Woman. I wonder what that's about. It's like Rita is doing her own thing. But I'm not sure at what expense. I'm not sure what Sabrina did to Rita. But it's not good. But Dennis Scully is going to take on Rita here tonight. And I feel bad for Rita. I mean, I feel bad for Scully to be very honest with you. You don't know what Rita is capable of. Wait a second, this is Rita? Rita for new look. What is this about? Are we seeing a new Rita at our very eyes? Rita, she usually is a dark entity as to wear black, and now it's all red. What is this symbolizing? As you see the hairstyle, usually she has to hide her face. Now all of her face is showing, and her eyes are red. What is? I'm, I'm not sure what's happened to Rita. Something bad has happened, and we don't know why. Is it supernatural that something happened, or something with her mental capacity? I'm not sure what's going on. Here we go, this match is underway. Our main event. As you see, Rita, she's not moving. She's just staring a hole to Dennis Scully. I don't know what's going on with Rita, but you see the gaze in Rita's eyes. My goodness, it's just no emotion whatsoever. What is going on with Rita? Dennis Scully, it's like she's afraid right now. 
She goes out the ring. I can't blame her. Scully doesn't know what she's even seeing. This is a new Rita we're seeing in front of our very eyes. She's just staring a hole through Scully. I've never seen anything like this. What, I don't know what's going on, Rita, but it's bad. It's very bad. There's no emotion whatsoever from this woman. Wait a minute, oh, Dennis Skelly. She was trying to draw a punch, but Rita just catches her. I guess Rita, her mind is all the way there to fight, but I'm not sure what, what we're seeing before our very eyes. Is this the Rita X we've known all throughout UWO? Dennis Scully gets back in the ring, trying to trying to get in Rita X's head. I'm not sure if she's going to. She tries to draw another punch, but Rita saw that coming. Oh my goodness, knee right to the face. And Rita just stares her down. Man, I know Rita, she hasn't really been full of energy. Throughout, throughout her whole career in UWO, but this is a new thing I've seen. Oh my goodness, what a, st what a stomp that was. Just catching her with a stomp in midair. Like I said, I, I know Rita is a methodical fighter, but not at this rate. This is a little bit extra. Oh, not face washing her with her boots, my goodness. Why not this? Oh, God. Dennis Scully, she is out for the count, but Rita's not making a cover. Like, this is not good for Dennis Scully. Rita's not making a cover. She's just going based off true emotion throughout this matchup. Rita has Dennis Scully on the top rope. Oh, this needs to the face. Oh, God. Dennis Scully, she may want to forfeit this match. Rita X is on another level here tonight. I'm not sure what's gotten into her. Was it Sabrina? Did she put a spell on Rita before she got injured? I'm not sure what this is. Rita has been not saying any words to anyone. She's not explaining what happened. Throws Dan Scully back into the turnbuckle. These damn headbutts. Looks like she's feeling no pain as well. Because from my headbutt, you're going to feel it as yourself. She's feeling no pain. What, what is this? With the X, it's like she's turning into a monster. Oh, God. I need to the face. Fouls it up. From belly to belly. But like I said, no pinfalls. No pinfalls whatsoever from Rita. But we got a submission hole. Looks like she's gonna stretch down the Scully's arm, trying to tear it out of her socket, but she can let us go. I said she's just she's just torturing Dana Scully. But what does Rita have in mind? Boy, not this. Oh boy, this is not good. Come on, Rita, don't do this. Oh my god. My goodness. She's trying to tear Dennis Scully's arm out of her socket. Right, oh. Uh, the ref has to stop this match. He has to. He has to do what's best for Dennis Scully and stop the damn match. This is going too far. Rita X is, is somewhere else. She's not in her head. Oh, now lifts down the scully by her boots. Oh, God. What a freaking kick to the face. Come on, down the scully. Stay down. Stay down. This, this is bad. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never seen anything like this before in the women's division. And Rita X with the Falcon Elbow. 
Falcon Arrow there from that from Rita X. Oh, no, oh come on. Just punch it away but then a scully. Not using the elbows. Oh my god, come on. Come on, ref, stop the damn match. We all know that Dana Scully is a jerk, but even she doesn't deserve this. This is why Wonder Woman is trying her best to talk some sense into Rita X. Because if she keeps up at this rate, we may not have a woman's division anymore. She's gonna take out all the women we have, even the sisters of Smash. Oh boy, what is this? A oh, power driver. And then at me, Rita X, showing no remorse, showing no remorse, emotion whatsoever. Come on, Rita, go for the pin. Just end this madness. Oh boy, she picks her up again. Oh boy, not this again. Not again, Rita. No. Ah. Oh. Another damn power driver. And mercifully, she goes for the cover. And it's over. No surprise. And Rita X is the winner. Who is this woman? This is not Rita X anymore. I don't know what I'm seeing. Rita X is somewhere. I'm not sure she's in her head. Maybe she is. Maybe she is. Maybe this is the real Rita X. Let's take a look at how this match ended. With the power driver. Alright, we, we gotta check up on Dennis Scully once again. I know I saw Survivor, it was bad, but this was 10 times worse. That was all she wrote. But wait a second, she's not yet done. Oh, come on, Rita. You want the damn matchup. What is she doing? What is Rita X doing here? Rita, stop this. Now she grabs another chair. I just smell evil intentions from Rita. Rita, no! Oh my god, no! Oh, someone has to check out Dennis Scully. I mean, she's a, like I said, she's a jerk, but she's a human being. She doesn't deserve that. Oh, we gotta get some ENTs. We're probably not gonna see Dennis Scully for a long time now. Oh, this is, this is bad. She just smashed her head with two chairs. She may have a concussion, or even worse. I, I can't believe it. And there's no emotion whatsoever. There's no expression on her face. That's how it's all been all throughout this matchup. We gotta get some help for Dennis Scully. We gotta get help quick. She's in the bad well, Wait a minute. Here comes Wonder Woman. She didn't answer the question from Red that she was going to confront her. But here she is. Looks like she's going to confront Rita X here tonight. Wait a second, Wonder Woman, she's had enough. Arita is going to hit Rita with the 
with the Wonder Bomb. She had enough of Rita's games. She just started with the Wonder Bomb. She didn't get any answers she wanted. Maybe there's no answers. Wait, what? She spoke. Rita X just spoke. I can't believe this. 